This video will not cover every feature or option within Autoscan. For additional information, please see the user's manual on the Rostec website. Some functions shown here may not be supported by discontinued Rostec interfaces. It is assumed you know how to run an Autoscan on the vehicle you are working with. If you are unsure of this, please watch the first video on using the Autoscan function of VCDS. Click on the link in the upper right corner and there is a link in the description as well. So when should you run an Autoscan? For professional technicians, if a repair order is created, you need to run an Autoscan. No excuses, no exceptions. Even if the car is in for a simple oil change, run the Autoscan first thing. Capture information before it is lost and find out about pre-existing conditions before you get involved with the vehicle. Once the auto scan is completed, VCDS will automatically save a copy of the auto scan to the scans folder where VCDS is installed. In the results box we have copy, print, save, and clear. Copy will copy the text information of the auto scan to the Windows clipboard so that it can be pasted into a forum post or email. Print will let you print out the results of the auto scan. Save will start a session log. This is a saved text copy of the auto scan to the computer hard drive and additional data can be added to the log file in real time as needed. Session logs are saved to the logs folder where the VCDS software is installed. Clear. This will erase the results of the auto scan. It does not clear fault codes from the control modules. After the auto scan is complete, the Clear All DTCs button will have VCDS go back into each control module and request to clear fault codes. To find the scans or logs folder, go to the main screen of VCDS. In the top left corner of VCDS, there is a small VCDS icon. Click on it and select Open VCDS Folder. This will open up the folder where VCDS is installed and here you will find the scans and logs folders. Let's go into the scans folders. Here is every auto scan that was performed on this computer. To quickly find a scan for a given VIN, go to the search box located in the upper right corner. Type in asterisk and then the last six numbers of the VIN. This will filter out any file name that doesn't have that string of numbers in it. Also note that within the file name is a timestamp and odometer information as well. The gateway installation list is only for CAN gateway diagnostic vehicles. This will query the CAN gateway for a list of control modules and their status. Pulling up the gateway installation list is not the same as an auto scan. If the control module is listed in black, there are no stored DTCs with that module. If the control module is listed in red, there is an issue. A malfunction means there are stored DTCs. Cannot be reached means there is no response from that control module address. Not registered means there is a control module communicating, but that address is not registered on the CAN gateway installation list. When just the gateway installation list is pulled up, the Clear All DTCs button will have the CAN Gateway issue a system-wide Clear DTCs request to all control modules at once. If you double-click on one of the lines for a control module, VCDS will connect to that control module and directly go to Check DTCs. For our professional customers using the Rostec Paid Tech Support Service, we ask that you submit an auto scan prior to calling. Once an auto scan is complete, look in the top left corner of VCDS. There is a small VCDS icon. Click on it and select Copy and Submit Auto Scan. This will open up a special web page. Where it asks for the short serial number, you will find this printed on your Rostec device. With the form filled out, click your mouse in the comments field and then on the computer keyboard do Control V 
to paste your auto scan. Click on send email and we will receive a copy of the auto scan in a few minutes.